difficult now, very frustrating. I think we played well again like last time, created so many chances, but lost 2-0 uh, again. So it's uh, frustrating again. Yeah, it's very difficult at the moment. Yeah. You were amongst the most threatening of the City players this afternoon. What do you think was missing to turn those chances into goals? I can't believe uh, I don't know. It's been like a lot of games like this where we just can't pull the trigger. We create chances and we concede on like very, yeah, very bad goals. And it, it takes us uh, a lot to score. And um, that's just the problem at the moment. I think we just need to keep going, keep going, keep building because it has to go in the goal uh, at one point. So that's the only thing missing. Uh, I think we should just, with all the chances we got, we need to score at least one. I think at half time we should be one or two nil up. It makes it just easier for ourselves. And you see in the counter, they score and we're chasing again. And then they score a uh, world before the two nil where we're not tired enough. And uh, make, yeah, makes it just another uh, difficult afternoon. And how do you stop those chances that aren't turning into goals? How do you stop that from affecting your confidence in front of goal? Uh, we just have to keep going, um, training, just like loads of um, finishing in the game. We just keep going and it will turn. It can't create so many chances and not score. At one point it will have to turn, but we need to make sure we keep doing what we're doing and even better. Like just if you see some of the chances we miss, it's just like a little bit of self-belief where we just like hit the ball in the back of the net or just uh, there was like chances where no one's in the box and just make sure that that, that all that's all in place because otherwise you're not going to score and as I, we've been we, we did well we created chances but then yeah we can see it and that's just uh, the story of the last few games uh, really and that's uh, tough to take at, uh, at the moment but we need to keep going and you know we have a week I think till the next game where we just have to come together keep uh, sticking with each other practicing practicing press and make sure next week we get it right yeah so we're out of the FA Cup now so does that help with focusing on the league? Oh, everybody wants to go in the FA Cup. It's a magical uh, competition. Obviously, it, uh, it ended for us um, now. Very short-lived what it was, but now we can just fully focus on the, on the league. You said we, we um, think against Lincoln uh, last game, it was uh, a, a bit better, um, not good enough. And then we just have to keep going and take the um, positives from this one, work on the negatives and be ready for next week. I suppose for you personally, we're going to be seeing a bit more of you now that Demi seems to be injured for a while. How does his absence affect your role within the team? I think everyone's seen, um, seen how important Demi is for the team. Uh, always a threat, goals, assist, and we're going to miss him uh, a lot. Now it's for other players to step up. Uh, myself, uh, other players who are again as well. Um, it's, not, it's not just about Demi, we have a whole team and um, we're going to make sure that even in his absence, we will um, do as best as we can and try to get goals and and win so um, without him. Oh, great. Are you looking forward to next weekend? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you want to when you have a bad result, you want to go straight in and try to uh, change it. But now we have a good week where everyone can just calm down, work on um, on uh, the other things we need to work on, and so we have a full week of preparation and uh, to get it right next week. So. One side, you, you would rather play next Tuesday, but on the other side, it's uh, better to just um, have some time and make sure we're right on uh, next week.